What's up, y'all? It's Clef Mikado. We back at it again with another video today. We filming in the middle of the desert, but today we are going to be talking about why the Dodge Challenger RT is the ultimate daily driver. Make sure you stick to the very end of the video to see how you can be a winner once we reach that 1,000 subscriber mark. The Dodge Challenger RT is the ultimate daily driver. 375 horsepower, 410 pound-feet of torque. The Dodge Challenger is a true American muscle car. Power steering, heated seats, heated steering wheel, touchscreen Uconnect system. The Dodge Challenger is the ultimate daily driver. It's a beautiful day out here in Las Vegas today, man. It's a beautiful day out. We pushing out nothing but positive vibes, positive energy. We out here cruising. We go talk about the Dodge Challenger RT and why I believe it's the ultimate daily driver. Now, before we jump into the content, if this is your first time tuning into the community, first off, I want to say thank you. I appreciate you. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. You're already watching, so you might as well subscribe. Also, while I have your attention, make sure you go ahead and smash the thumbs up button. Just smash the thumbs up button for me right now because every time you guys hit that like button, YouTube pushes the content out more and more to the YouTube community. And it helps the community grow. It helps the content be seen, man. And I appreciate that gesture. I appreciate it, man, because... You guys have helped my channel grow substantially within a, uh, a few short months, man. I'm almost at 1,000 subscribers, so I appreciate every single one of y'all. Now, let's go ahead and jump into the content, man. I want to talk about the Dodge Challenger RT and why I believe this car is the ultimate daily driver. This car is the perfect daily driver. Now, a lot of people may not understand or a lot of people may not find it practical to have a v8 as your daily driver but for the most part the dodge challenger rt is going to be the perfect daily driver now i'm actually getting a lot better gas mileage on this thing for the most part now that i'm not flooring it every single time i drive because <laughs> i was aver averaging about 10 miles to the gallon when i first got the car in early april but now I'm actually averaging, I would say like anywhere between 16 to 18 miles to the gallon. And that's mostly like city driving. So the car does good for the most part if you know how to drive. If you actually keep your foot off the pedal, man. Keep your foot off the pedal. But every now and then you got to punch it and you got to have some fun. But this car, it's an absolute beauty. Besides, be, be, besides the actual, you know, the good, and I'm, I'm gonna say the decent gas models that you get from out of it being a V8, this car is absolutely beautiful, man. This car is absolutely beautiful. I actually always get looks as if I'm driving some type of, you know, horn vehicle. For the most part, you know how it is out there, man. You know, everybody gotta have a, a Mercedes Benz or a BMW or, you know, somebody, everybody wants some kind of flashy like that you know when you see those kind of cars certain ones you see a lamborghini or something like that man everybody just kind of just uh just stop and stare and i'm actually gonna say i actually kind of get this with this car for the most part i get a lot and a lot and a lot of looks and compliments on this car man this car is absolutely beautiful it's one of a kind the dodge challenger pretty much is the last standing true American muscle muscle car. Now, I don't want to get too much into detail about that because I've already kind of discussed that topic, but it's all about the beauty and the retro styling of this car, man. This car is absolutely gorgeous. It's absolutely gorgeous. I don't care what year Challenger you see. Even me, man, I'm, I'm driving this thing, and every time I see a Challenger and go mango or every time i see the green or every time i see destroyer gray i'm like 
damn, that's a nice car. And sometimes I forget that I'm actually driving a Challenger myself, man. So the car is an absolute beauty. It's an absolute beauty. Another good reason why this car is going to be... Oh, look at that. That's crazy. <laughs> I just run up. That's crazy as hell. I'm driving right now and just run up on a, uh, on a Go Mago uh, joint right here. But for the most part, I kind of lost my train of thought for a minute. That's kind of crazy right there. All right, y'all. So I kind of got through off my game a little bit. That Go Mango Challenger that we just saw kind of flew by me and honked a little bit. Kind of distracted me, but that's the good thing about the Mopar community, man. Is when you see another Challenger on the road, especially another V8. I mean, I mean, everybody kind of like show love to each other for the most part. Like I said, everybody is constantly checking each other car out and then you 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 have the actual spectators you know you have the normal people that are actually on the road you have the pedestrians everybody is checking the car out man everybody is checking the car out for the most part so this car is absolute absolutely a thrill to drive man and as far as the inside of the car man this car is completely comfortable the seats hug you there's there's a ton of room in this car man so this car is the perfect daily driver like you don't feel compressed or anything like that i haven't actually got a chance to take this car on a long extended drive but i would be i would feel 100 percent comfortable in taking this car on a very very long drive because like i said you have a ton of room in the actual seats the seats are extremely comfortable and it's just a roomy car for the most part now the thing about the challenger especially with the with the newer models if i'm not mistaken i think they did the upgrade on the 2014 or the 2015 models where they completely changed and revamped the interior of the car the car is pretty much catered to the driver it's almost like a cockpit you know it's pretty simple on the inside for the most part but sometimes simple is a lot better because you really don't need that much man you really don't need that much simplicity sometimes beat the over complicated madness in other vehicles and i don't really think you need to over complicate this car man because you got the power under the hood you got that retro styling you got that aggressive you got that aggressive v8 sound man i mean come on man Telling you, man. Every time I get in this car, man, it's an absolute thrill to drive. It's an absolute thrill to drive every time I get in this car, man. I gotta floor it. I gotta floor it, and it has everything that you need. Now, I don't want to go into like a full, in-depth review of the car because I'm actually gonna do a video catered to that. But it has everything you need, man. You have two cup holders in the center console. You have a cup holder and the driver door. You have a cup holder and the passenger door. It's just a comfortable ride, man. It's smooth on the road. It's super smooth on the road. And I don't think you really, I don't, I honestly really don't think you, you need that much. The Dodge Challenger RT is going to be like the perfect, the perfect daily driver without doing too much now the hellcat the scat pack is all about the power to me i look at those cars more as being something that you want to throw on the actual track now don't get me wrong if you soup up the 5.7 you can definitely throw it on the track you can definitely get good numbers out of it but stock just fresh out the gate the dodge challenger rt is just meant to be that daily driver that gives you that v8 power without actually doing too much man car like i said man the main thing that i really like about daily driving this car is how it actually makes me feel every time i get in this car man i'm happy dude <laughs> i just get this euphoria over me every time i jump in the car every time i start the car up and i hear the engine i just get this euphoria over my entire body like man I absolutely love this car. So if you're thinking about getting the Dodge Challenger RT, 
definitely go ahead and pick it up because it's definitely practical. Like I said, you have a ton of room in here. The back seats are usable. I actually kind of did a video on that, so you can go check that video out. Excuse me, video out. The back seats are usable. It's just an all out beautiful ride for the most part, and it's well worth the money. It's well worth the money. And that is pretty much going to wrap it up for the video. I just wanted to kind of keep it short and simple because it's not really too much to talk about when it comes to this car, man. You just have to actually, what I would recommend if you're thinking about getting a car, because this is what, this is what absolutely sold me. I was thinking about actually getting a foreign car before I traded it in for the Challenger. I was going to go with a BMW 5 Series. Once I actually test drove this car, I absolutely fell in love. So that's going to be my recommendation. If you're thinking about getting a Dodge Challenger RT, or if you're thinking about getting a Dodge Challenger, a V6 Challenger, if you're thinking about getting any model, just go to the deal, excuse me, go to the dealership and just test drive the car. And I guarantee you, I guarantee you, you are absolutely, absolutely going to fall in love with this car. You are absolutely going to fall in love with the car. Has everything you need, man. And like I said, I don't want to go into a full out review of the car because I want to save that for the next video or one of my next videos. But you got trunk space in this vehicle. It's perfect. It's the perfect daily driver, the ultimate daily driver. And that pretty much wraps it up for the video. Now, if you stuck to the very end, like I said, we do have a giveaway once we reach that 1,000 subscriber mark. I actually want to let y'all pick. I'm going to let y'all pick. So what would you guys prefer? I could either do a $100 cash giveaway, I could either do tire stickers, or I could either pay for somebody's mid muffler delete because we have a lot of guys, and you know what, I'm not just gonna exclude, um, we, we have a small, small percentage of women out there, so I apologize for that, but to anybody out there who is thinking about getting a Dodge Challenger or if you just got one or if you have one and you don't have that mid muffler delete I'll go ahead and take care of that so just let me know exactly what it is man hundred dollar cash giveaway mid muffler delete or tire stickers man drop a comment let's go ahead and engage man I hope you guys like this video once again make sure you subscribe to the channel make sure you smash the thumbs up and I appreciate every single one of y'all I'll be back on Friday with another video